Hello and welcome. This is Kevin Nelson, known as AWOL. And today we have another blindside creation, which means I'm coming over here to a bracelet book with a number that was given to me. I have no idea what the pattern is. I need to make something out of that pattern, um, which can be, well, it's blindsided because obviously if I don't know what I'm doing and then I have to make it all on the spot, it can get kind of weird. So the pattern number is 130803. So we apply the filters and it's, it's interesting. It's, it's not my normal style, but I can see why this would be cool. All right, so I'm gonna use Windows, Shift and S. So that way I can basically copy this bit right here. Okay, and then I can bring that over here. Paste it in place. First thing I'm obviously gonna wanna do is rotate that by 90 degrees. You've probably seen me do this before. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I make bracelets sometimes from things that I've never seen before, like this. All right, we're just making this bigger so I can see what I'm doing. We are going to add this to a new layer. And this allows me to basically just kind of move it around. And then there's this little thing over here which makes it so I can make it kind of pop in and out, which is sort of neat. Okay, so there is one color Oh, check that out. Okay, so wait. This little half arrow thing, which I absolutely hate those things, um, means that it kind of went off the screen. It's, it's not whatever. So um, that means this center line is not going to be where this center line is. Does that make sense? Do you see what I'm... Right? It's... Oh, wait, maybe it does. Hang on. Let me, let me move this down here like this. Oh, it is right. Okay, never mind. My mistake. So the dark color here, let's grab a paint bucket. So this is, this isn't quite black, which is good, right? Is it too close? They're not. Let's just lighten it just a little bit. So this line is sort of going off this way and it goes completely off and then comes back. So the inside one is sort of in here. So that's pretty neato. I'm not sure where this is going to end up on our... Okay. So this string here is basically supposed to get used an awful lot. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like this color is used more than once. So hope, well, I was going to say, hopefully we can exchange it, but it goes all the way across the whole thing. So I'm pretty sure that that's, yes, it will be exchangeable. So that's kind of awesome. At this moment, though, I'm not 100% sure how much of a change that we're going to be making to this other than having it kind of centered nicely. We'll see. If you've seen the blindside creations before, you know that it's one of two things. Either I'm going to alter the pattern a lot because I don't like it, or I'm kind of okay with the pattern and trying to find out how to make it nice. This one might be one of those cases where I try to make it nice. This color, oh, that's really kind of close to that, isn't it? All right, rather than changing out that part, let's take our color here and make 
the fill the whole selection. There we go. And then put it back. All right. Couldn't see what I was doing. That way, we can use this color and see that we're okay. There's no conflicts or whatever else. So that one goes all the way up and like that. Then there is a slightly lighter color. Oh. All right, so this slightly lighter color goes here and here. And up there. So that's kind of neat. So we know that this string is basically traveling this direction. There's not enough strings in the whole project for it to be doing pretty much anything else. And then this string here, I would say has to be doing going this way. And then there's another one here. So basically I'm working off of the image and not the strings. I I could go down further on the bracelet book image and see how they did all their stuff. Um, I typically just don't have to, is all. So this is the lightest of the blues. And so, yeah, I'm just going to leave the ends kind of alone. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be kind of straightforward how this works. Well, here, we'll just go ahead and do this. I was, I was going to leave it and put in the orange ones in place first, but then I kind of see what it's about to do. And I can show you how I know what it's going to do based on this. So that orange is just going to come straight along here and back up. So at this corner, it's going to change directions. So that means this dark blue will come through and it will end up over on this side just like that. So that means that the second blue will come in and it's going to come off of that next orange where it changes directions and it's going to come through and it's going to be over here. All right. And then this light one will come in and it will bounce off of the third of the oranges over here and come out this way. So I thought I was going to hold off on that for a moment, but what's the point? I can see where this is going and we can make that all work. So what goes on over here and stuff? That's, uh, I am slightly curious. How does that orange end up over here? That doesn't sort of make sense to me, but we'll see in a moment. What is happening there? Because as far as I can tell, the orange is way out here. But maybe we have some extra strings and that's what they're doing. All right, so that's out there. It's kind of fascinating, honestly. Right, so that's like that. Another one here and another one here. Cool. I could probably put those into all of the spaces. Right. Wait, whoops, that's wrong. Oh, we do have a problem over here. Darn it. I didn't. I brought this in as a sharp corner. I was wondering why the spaces looked weird. And that's uh, because I didn't do this thing right. So that means all this was wrong. 
That's a big whoopsie doodles. Possibly changing how this, well, no, even possibly. It changes how this ends. So let's go back and find out how this really is supposed to go. That's cool. It just ends over here. That's going to give us a kind of an interesting start. We'll see how that works. All right. So there's the two for that, the two for that, and the two for that. So. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but in the other room, my father-in-law is uh, hollering about something. I'm not quite sure what. It sounds to me like um, well, I don't know. It doesn't sound good. Let's just put it that way. But he has Alzheimer's and he struggles with just things in general, so. So I think that is all of our dark strings. Just kind of double check on how this goes, but I think that does them all. And then from here, we can find out like what's left of our other strings. I like this pattern. I have to say, I, I, it's, it's not something I necessarily would have come up with on my own. I kind of like the, the colors they have chosen, but I might, I might look at doing it maybe a little different. We'll see how that goes. I'm not, It's going to also depend on the string that I have because obviously I can't do it exactly if I don't have the strings. Right, that's, yeah. Okay, so then the next orange, this one. I don't know why, maybe it's a little bit of the colors, but once upon a time, long, long ago, I lived in California because I was in the service and um, back in those days, it seemed kind of popular to have, um, like it was silver jewelry. Um, I kind of want to say it was, it was Indian made perhaps. 
I'm not sure. It could have been made in Mexico. I don't know where this stuff came from. Um, but the colors kind of remind me of some of the jewelry that was kind of popular back at that time. And uh, I really don't know. Like, I, oops. I really don't know like where that stuff was coming from or like who is the who actually made the stuff but it does definitely remind me of that i don't i wonder what ever happened to the jewelry i i because i of course i bought some um i had one that was like a silver ring it had some turquoise in it and had some other stones like I said, like a similar sort of thing to this. So I'm just kind of following like the paths to get, you know, the, the colors kind of where they need to go. So, yeah, there's those three. And then there's still one more string out here. So, yeah, that's probably another one of the uh, the darker oranges, I suspect. Um, let's work out the blues first, and then uh, we'll see. I think that's kind of a neat way of being able to... Uh, make the contrasting color sort of in the other side. That's kind of neat. Kudos to whoever designed this. This was this was kind of fun. I don't know if you went off of another pattern for the inspiration, like if there was something similar or if this was 100% uh, you were trying to create a thing. But it's nice. I like it. Oh, and I didn't mention it was Minute Craft who submitted this challenge for me. Probably should have said that a lot sooner. But um, yeah, thank you to Minute Craft. I, uh, if you haven't already seen her her uh, Instagram, go check it out. She makes some pretty complex and very, very beautiful bracelets. She's really good with her knots. So go check her out. Oops, hit the edge. Yeah, so... The only things that are left are the ones that make up these little pieces over here. So this gets the orange. Kind of fun. Right, right in the middle of the blue ones. Oh, so it ends up on the same side as the other oranges. Well, that's kind of fun. Wasn't sure where that was going to go. So when you do the loop with this, basically you're going to... This really kind of works out best if you're going to double up your string, right? So then you can shift all of the orange colored ones off to one side and all of the blue colored ones off to the other side and make it so that way... Um, you have like a double of the string on either side. They both will come down and uh, yeah, it's kind of how that works. Oops. And then this is our dark blue. And if you don't understand, just watch tomorrow's video. I will make the bracelet and then um, you can see how I do it. It's a, a little bit trickier of a start than, 
you know, the basic normal ones. But it's not so difficult to, you know. And there we go. That's their whole top half. I can get rid of the other one for now. And I can use my select tool and come down here like that. And then we will use the flip tool. And if you haven't noticed here lately, I've learned a new trick. If you bring the flip tool right down to your guideline and you flip it from there, darn it, I keep doing that though. You have to copy and paste it first. Right, so you need because you need a second layer, otherwise, you're just flipping your first layer. So, copy and paste it, then come down to that line. And when you flip, it will automatically be lined up perfectly because it just flipped it based on that axis. I don't know why, but I think it's amazing. It keeps me from having to dial it in, which I don't know if that was, that was a thing for a bit. So, here is our bracelet. I like it, I think that's fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the oranges, maybe with the reds. That could be fun. Maybe reds and purples. I don't know. There's so many possibilities. I love it. Thank you very much, guys. Um, special thanks to my new craft and special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members for making this possible. I need the string to be able to make do my work. And um, yeah, they make that happen. It's... Uh, it's not a huge financial thing. If you want to help support the channel, it's a great way to do it. Um, I mean, if you can't afford it, I understand. Maybe just hit like. That also helps the channel as well. So I would really appreciate that. And um, yeah, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch. <laughs>